Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here, and this is where we're going to start things off. Last time we were at the Color Dungeon, and we got the red uh, tunic upgrade. See, you gotta be really precise on those. That grass is throwing me off. There we go. And in this area... Wait, is this where we pick up the level 4 key? I think we guys get out of here. Try again from the start. Well, I don't know what the start is. I remember this puzzle, though. You have to basically talk to each of the signs in a particular order. But we're starting at the exit, basically. And we cannot clear four tile gaps. So we have to do this after we get... Oh, okay, so you see it follows. It loops around and you have to do that, but we can't actually do that right now, so... I guess coming this way was a waste. I did pick up bombs off-camera. Actually... We're gonna make our life easier. Oh, no, yeah, we can't make our life easier. Very well. Okay, the next place I want to try going... I think I need to head down this way? Perhaps? Either that or we have to go up into the mountains a little bit. This is the part of the game where I always get a little bit lost and confused. Because as a kid, I kind of disliked level 4 between the process of trying to get there and the process of the dungeon itself. There were many times that I played this game, and I ended up giving up around this point in the game. Uh, just because it, there were some parts in level 4 that I literally just got stuck at. We are suddenly way up here. That's entirely not what I wanted. Get, cut that out. I did buy some bombs off camera, so we don't have to worry about running out of those anytime soon. Hopefully. That'll avoid at least one stupid thing happening in this episode. Okay, where I'm gonna go then is I'm going to head back to the city. I know there was still another cave up to the north where we could. where we needed the boots. But I don't feel like doing that right now. Plus, we have the honeycomb. We gotta figure out who to give that to. Is it the monkey? Well, we're gonna try it. This is the path to level one. I don't want this. We have the power to shake the entire... Uh, Island when we run into something. That is how strong we are. There's our monkey. Okay, no, he must not want that. That is fine. Okay, I want to be down this way. Down by places we have not been. Do we need to go in here yet? No. That'll be for a little bit later in the game. There's always, in these uh, Zeldas for the Game Boy, there's always these... And when I talk about Zeldas for the Game Boy, I'm not talking about Minish Cap, just for the record. I'm talking about, uh, well, this game. And Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages. See, I got that one. Um...
Oh, that did not work. Let's do something we're probably not supposed to do. I like my sword on the A button. Don't ask why, because it's like the exact opposite of like Mega Man style controls where attacking is done with the B button. Ah, uh, that is deep water. We cannot deal with deep water. I will demonstrate. Yeah, you cannot deal with deep water. It does a quarter heart of damage. And that is... I think I mentioned it before. That is supposed to be an exit area. Okay, so this way is completely not the most productive thing we could be doing. That's water we can't swim in. We need to go someplace new. We need to go to the mountains. I'm trying to avoid going to the mountains because the mountains, like in typical 2D Zelda fashion, are very mazy, have lots of caves that will warp you around to who knows where. And so I want to go everywhere but the mountains before going to the mountains. And I'm pretty sure we've exhausted that. Oh yeah, we have 11 secret seashells. And we're back up here, basically where we started the video off. Yay for productivity. That is another one of the issues with these Game Boy Zeldas sometimes, is that um, you get so far in the game, and then it, it's it really becomes a chore to try and travel around the world and get to your next area. Just because you'll run into all sorts of obstacles like that. Uh, which way am I going? I'm going straight up to the mountains. Except we're taking a detour to go left, because we cannot just continually go straight. I mean, it's not as mazy as it could potentially be. Alright, I know we're not supposed to go left, so let's go left. That was not productive. Let's go up some more. Actually, yeah, we'll go up some more. Oh, this is the windfish. Well, we'll go ahead and map this in. I really shouldn't map this in right now. I know this seems really simple to get to, but I I remember playing this game one time, and where's my shovel? And I got all the eight instruments, and I needed to go wake the windfish. Problem is, I already mapped in everything, and even despite looking at the map, yeah, here's the windfish egg. Can't do anything with that now. I struggled to find my way back to this area. I like the music in this area, though. And I kept walking, like, right by the place. I'm like, no, it can't possibly be there. It can't possibly be that spot. That's a secret seashell in there. That requires the hook shot. That's treasure. And this is not a productive place to be trying to gain entrance to anything, too. Oh, those guys are so much easier with the uh, red tunic. So much easier. Whoa, they're blasting me. I did not approve of that. Okay, that path is to get us out. I think. Whatever, we're someplace new. Let's just get supercharged. I don't need defensive power if I'm killing enemies in one hit. I do if I'm just gonna let them hit me, though. Oh yeah, that piece of heart. That's a, uh... That's a chore to get to, from what I remember.
As is that treasure. I think that almost requires the hook shot as well. Oh, hey, I found this treasure. Money! You know, if I go back and get that treasure that's in level one where we need bombs, but we could probably get the bow and arrow. I might do that. Maybe that'll be where we start the next episode. Okay, nothing this way. You can see running in water is a little bit different. Um. Oh, okay, my controller just died for some unknown reason. I don't know why it does that. And then as soon as I select my controller and go back to the game, it works again. Very weird. I uh, can't handle that way. We're actually very close to level 4 here. I know it doesn't look like it. Just trust my vague memory on this one. Yeah, I don't think there's anything down there anyways. Ooh, treasure. Rude. The only problem with uh, this attack is sometimes you fling enemies into areas that you can't reach, and you can't pick up the items that they drop. Hi there. Nope, and can't. Oh, um, I guess I don't have the item required for this. Who needs the honeycomb, then? Someone needs the honeycomb. And I think that's what we have to do, because we can't... Wait, this isn't a three-tile jump, is it? No, that is very much not a three-tile jump. Although there are some other places we can do things with. Let's head back. And we're not going to get that piece of heart for a while. Well, this could be scary. I don't know how I'm getting back through here. Probably like that. Yeah, exactly like that. Okay, well this was unproductive exploring. Let's go this way. Ah yes, we have not been this way. New areas. Full health, and there's the camera shop. There are a lot of screens where there's not a ton of stuff going on. Hit the jumpy spider thingy. Those things always creep me out. There is... that's not level 4, is it? Maybe that is level 4. That looks like level 4. No, level 4 is there! See, we need the key. Angler keyhole. See, I told you level 4 needed a key. 
is definitely not the key to my heart. Dang, that guy didn't die. Yeah, okay. Also around here, aha, another warp pipe. So if we uh, warp springboard, whatever it is. So if we want to, we can warp to the other warp place now. And now we can really blast enemies. That requires hook shots, so that means this is the only place left to go. And we can't go this way. That is wonderful. Welcome to why I'm stuck. I need the... I need whoever gives me meat. And whoever gives me meat better want a honeycomb. Uh, so I gotta find the next step in the trade sequence to do this. So what I'll do, I'll meet you guys next time. We're gonna start at level one and get that treasure there. And we'll probably pick up the bow. So I'll see you then.